Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampathi watching Sampath Samfix and this is Poco X3 custom ROM review so you can see pixel extended version 5.0 based on Android 13 here and the security patch is September 5th this is not the latest security patch we are already on October 16 we are told we are still getting September security patch the build date is October 3rd hence it is with September security patch build number you can see here and I've been running the CPU throttling test from last 6 minutes and 5 milliseconds. You can see this is 100 threads test, guys. Maximum is 188 and average is 182 and minimum is 147. It's throttled to 92% here after 4 minutes. It's getting throttled. It's not the complete uh, problem or solution. You can see just it's an app recognized like this and I have been kept for charging. If you guys can see 37 percent at that time the time was 844 and 37 percent charging rapidly it was after 937 it completed the 88 percent and it was showing charging slowly after certain time it gets slow charge then the charging time you can have an idea in this particular ROM I'll be showing you right now while connecting the charger you guys can have an idea as you can see it shows charging charging rapidly and charging slowly also after certain time it gets detected that it's having higher percentage of battery hence it will recognize as and it will make it slow charge and that's how it is it prevents the battery a little bit and this is the volume panel you get simple enough this is the quick settings panel you get it's also simple but again as i said in the dub first voice there is no any automatic brightness button here that's really irritates if you want to use any android 13 based roms that should be an priority basis it should there at least in this quick settings panel that option is simply missing in this pixel extended version 5.0 other toggles it's fine and as you know under 13 the settings and power button has been moved downwards and advanced restart button is also given in the edit section you get plenty of options smoothness wise it's okay not great not even bad also but that automatic brightness toggle is simply missing here you need to go into settings in order to activate or deactivate it and this is under 12.1 style or under 13 whatever it is the wallpaper style and widgets you get all the clock widgets as you can see in the screen and home settings obviously you get pixel launcher as a default launcher if you can use any other launcher also you can see here some of the customization you will get in this particular launcher now moving into dialer here you can see there is a direct video call feature no need to worry in android 13 based roms you get direct video call feature through google meet or do your video calling and you can see here screen the call recording is also present here but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call that's how it is and the UI is also smooth here I felt a little bit better than pixel OS I was always speaking about that in order to use clean UI you guys know pixel experience is no longer supported for this POCO X3 slash NFC currently we have this pixel OS and this pixel extended which is a little bit better just this one made me to switch back very soon the other ROMs that's really irritating for me automatic brightness sensor because I need to make videos every time hence that is very essential for me others I don't know and moving back into other settings like app settings you can see here and to the benchmark result you get here massive 3 lakh 63,600 54 and temperature raise was just 2 degrees celsius and battery drop is 3 percentage during this testing for poco x less nfc during this android benchmark throttling test and app opening times also you can simultaneously see here the geekbench scores are also fine in my opinion 547 single score and 1534 is the multi-score and linux 4.1 4.295 is the kernel used here this rom is based on android 13 you can see recent apps are also cool but not fast here no lag whatsoever in this particular and you get this basic camera skip this and use the arno build gcam already most of them 
I know they have already using the Arnabil GCAM or some other GCAM port. Let me know in the comment section and recorder option is also given. That's handy feature actually in Android 12 and 12.1 and now Android 13 it has been a little bit improved and uh, maps are also working fine. I mean the location access everything is working fine no problem regarding that. Shift and status also it get passed you can use all the payment applications like uh, google pay whatever you want to use that's going to work fine drm information is also level one certification is available that's not the problem here now moving into actual settings you can see here ui wise is smooth enough not bad compared to pixel os and pixel experience the unofficial builds this is also an unofficial build but smoothness wise i can say if you are looking for a clean android experience then you can go for this also and you get a little bit of customization that's here pixel extension you can see status bar items you can customize i mean you can enable or disable traffic indicators are given 4g icon and small mobile type you can tap to sleep you can enable or disable from here and lock screen again double tap to sleep on lock screen disable power menu and navigation bar customization here nothing option has been given like you can't increase the pillion but overall it's fine if would have they been given that would be better and swipe to screenshot three finger screenshot also working fine that has been added here and power menu you get these are the options advanced shortcut button you need to enable from here fingerprint success and error only these customizations are available in pixel extension customization i mean the pixel extended 5.0 and battery as i said before yeah this is how the battery life you can see here set up in the device and running the benchmark result and using little bit of browsing here and there and pubg mobile or bgma playing little bit of that these are the good things in this particular rom and uh, the sound and vibration also you get all the basic settings you can see here and direct sound settings you get plenty of options here hi-fi audio sound and sound enhancer like headphone type and preset from here and you can even choose the scene here that's quite awesome in this particular room you get all the direct sound settings available here and accessibility menu i will have spoken about this and here again i am telling this you can use without using the physical button or even virtually you can enable or disable volume or increase or decrease the brightness those things you can do here and you can move to notifications and screenshot also you can take from here that's an handy feature the accessibility menu shortcut and other settings you can see here this will all Android 13 customization and this is the settings if you want to increase you can increase the display size it looks a little bit better right now it's a little bit tiny in my opinion it again goes to personal preference and security you get just finger print unlock and encryption credential rom is by default here encrypted that's good thing few people like it but anyhow and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys down below many people watch my video but not subscribing to my channel it's time to subscribe you are getting a lot more videos on oko x3 slash and some other videos related to tech and some other custom roms for some other smartphones also will be coming soon wallpaper sun style you get here basic wallpapers the all pixel like wallpapers that's present here and basic colors this and and at 13 feature you get plenty of options here the combination of colors and dark theme this is very important let me show you as you can see it's not in pitch black condition that's one thing and the other thing is oh, the before i said the notification the arrow brightness toggle is missing and upgrade you get from 2 into 2 to 5 into 5 that's how it is that's simple enough but fine in my opinion location also working fine let's me move into display settings you get all the basic functions here and dark theme as you can see there is no extra option to increase i mean pitch black condition to enable that that's simply missing here night light is there colors are kept to boosted and maximum minimum both kept to 120 per app refresh rate you can choose here double tap to anywhere there are a lot more options in order to wake or sleep your devices and system again simple air gesture this is all the options you get system navigation this is how it is and pubg mobile also i played it and the gameplay is fine i need not to show that that much i think because this is not any gaming rom here the ui wise it's smooth as you can see the ram management 
could be way better but it's fine nothing bad also this is how the pixel extended rom for poco x if you have any doubt regarding this rom comment down in the comment section and watch the video completely then only we'll understand everything guys and flashing guide i already made a video on dubfish similar process use the same recovery firmware instead of that dubfish rom zip file use this zip file that's it and format data and reboot to system I hope I explained everything in this particular room. If you want, you can use it as a daily driver. I have no complaints. Only the thing is for me, at least this notification and the auto brightness toggle and the pitch black condition in dark theme. Those two things made me to switch to other ROMs. Hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give it a like. And if you still not subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button down below, guys. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.